open this thing up. I just no. want to show you the box so you can kind of see the information it gives. No. So what? what we can see here, it's 14 plus, just like the flame piece. So it's 46 kilometers per hour, which equates to 28 miles per hour. Four wheel drive, up to 30 minutes, so I would imagine that each battery is 15 minutes each. A ball bearing comes with everything you need, four wheel drive, two motors, all weather, and LiPo batteries. Here's a picture of what it looks like. It has the lights. 45 degree climbing ability, fast charger, rubber tires, brushed electric dual motors. Oh geez, this thing, this thing's looking legit. Metal drive cups. Man, this thing's probably indestructible. There it is, the Venom Hunter four wheel drive. What's going on everybody? Liam and I here, remember this guy? So this is the flame piece. Uh, there's a link right there to go check that out. So we did a review on this $69.99 uh, Amazon RC card that was sent to us. Um, they sent it to us to review and it was a lot of fun. Um, but we have exciting news. So this thing, as we explained in our review, um, it's a toy. I said over and over that I didn't think it was hobby grade. So Zero Toys sent us another car, and I, as I was reading about it on Amazon, which it cost $159.99 on Amazon, I'll leave the link down below in the description, it is claiming that this one is a five-star twin power turbo hobby grade RC car. With that being said, we have it right here. We're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna charge the batteries up. I'm gonna do a, a slow run without filming it just to break in the brushed motors. And then I will film kind of a review like I did with the, the flame piece. So let's open this thing up. Open it? Yeah, let's open it. Come on. Oh, shoot. Look at that, bud. Look at that. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Lipo safe bag. I'm getting more excited as we open it. There's lipos. They say it's hobby grade. Man. This thing's gonna be a blast. Okay. This thing feels a bit more rugged than the than the flame piece so far. Just the weight of it feels feels a bit more hobby grade. I'll admit. What do you think, Liam? Is it good? Li Liam says the suspension's pretty good. He's giving it the old Liam suspension test. Is that a good one, bud? Liam? Okay, well, before we go play with it, we gotta check it out. So there's two shocks on the back. Very springy. That'll be interesting. You hitting bumps just like, all right, now that you've got a better view here, there's four body clips. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. So the inside, there's a ESC, has a battery strap here. Let's take the batteries are inside. This thing can actually run dual battery, which won't give it more power. It'll only make it last twice as long. So you can run both these batteries in here. It'll be interesting to see how long these last. This says these are LiPo batteries. Dean's connectors. So compared to the flame piece, I mean, this is a big jump in just quality. These Dean's connectors are really efficient. Some metal parts on the bottom. Looked like on the box it showed that there was some metal gearing. So yeah, I mean, pretty simple, waterproof. I'll open up the controller, see what that looks like, and then I'll throw these batteries on the charger. All right, so I just dumped out everything it came with. It looks like there is a different spur gear. I'm assuming that's a spur gear. Um, has a tire, iron, some extra clips, a light kit, two chargers, so you can charge both batteries at once. This is a connector to run both the batteries. 
at one time, and then the cover for when you're running one battery, it's a bit more sealed. I'll probably just run one battery so it stays sealed, and less dirt will get in there and all that. The controller looks more hobby grade than the flame piece for sure. All right guys, let me do a side-by-side -side comparison with this and the flame piece, and then I'll throw the batteries on the charger, and we will take it out and give it a test drive. All right guys, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the flame piece right here. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger than the flame piece, but there it is. Good job, buddy. And push it. Ready, set, go! Oh well. 